All right, so in this video, we are gonna replace the router bit. Uh, this is to demonstrate how easy it is for a changing of router bits on a Kongsberg. We utilize an air chuck. It's the switch right here on the right, the silver switch. Um, other things that we have as far as features on the router are an adjustable dust boot. So it allows for you to let that float and ride against the material. We also have positive air. So that air, that little blue dial right there is a uh, adjustment for the, the air pressure that you might have uh, in, the, in the routing chamber. So that air not only uh, turbulates all the debris in there, but it also helps cool the router bit itself. So to change the router bit, I'm gonna go ahead and take the dust boot all the way to the top, kind of lock it and see the router bit right there. I'm gonna grab a hold of it by the, uh, the top part of the router bit and I'm gonna push down on the air collar. So the router there comes out um, pretty easily. Uh, to replace it, all I have to do is the same kind of thing. I like to grab right at the, the top shoulder of the router bit and then when I place that into the chuck, I go all the way to the tip of my fingers and then I lock it. At that point, I need to clear the safety of the machine. And then the first calibration I wanna do is to the belt. So I'm gonna use the green calibration foot and calibrate zero tabletop reference. And I do this all while the vacuum is on. And then I place my X pad right underneath of the laser pointer, right in the center of the calibration dot. And then in the software here, I'm gonna select adjust tool height. And then I'm gonna go measure all tools. I get this screen right here, tells me what I need to do. And then I hit start on the control panel, it's flashing here. So when I hit start, the machine is now gonna come over, use the calibration foot to measure the X pad, and then it will measure all the tools that I have loaded. So I just hit start there. This is the process of measuring the calibration X pad. Now we're measuring the multi-purpose high frequency tool. And now we're onto the router bit. Now this machine is completely ready to start cutting. All the tool tips are calibrated to the pre-designated calibration and the tabletop has been zeroed. Very easy on a Kongsberg. Thank you very much.